What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is the start of an NYC vlog. This trip was kind of planned and then not planned and then put on last minute again. So literally we flew in yesterday and the day before that we didn't even have a hotel. So yeah, it's it was, been a little crazy. It was a crazy trip, but we flew in yesterday. It was actually a crazy whole thing yesterday, but we barely got through the Orlando airport in time, but we did. Got here, didn't do too much. We went from the airport to the hotel. It was already later in the afternoon. We grabbed some dinner and then just uh, stayed in and watched college football. But now it is Sunday morning and we are about ready to hit the road and see what we get into. This is the view from our last minute hotel. Honestly, a lot better than we expected. This is the Wingate at Wyndham in Haven Park, I believe. We're in the Bronx right now, South Bronx. I definitely recommend this hotel so far. It's pretty nice, rooms are not too big, but that's a crazy good view. Quick editorial note as I'm editing this, found out later that that hotel is actually located in one of the worst neighborhoods in New York. Oops, didn't know that. Overall though, the hotel was still super nice, super clean, it was a good deal. Now we maybe know why it was a good deal. I still recommend it, uh, just make sure you're being safe and probably not going at night. Otherwise it still felt very safe. Uh, the staff was awesome. Great hotel, just don't go out at night. All right, back to the video. I think we're about to hop on the subway. Wish us luck. And we're here going to grab some coffee and head to Central Park. I just got recognized in New York. walking through Central Park. I think this is my favorite part of the park right here after the few times we've been here. It's just called The Pond and it's near Inscope Arch. Yeah. I think it's the coolest part because the city's just like right there. The last time we were here was February for Cass's birthday and it looked a lot different. It was still pretty but... Everything was dead. Yeah, but this is like a whole nother level. Times Square and I think we're gonna go find some lunch. and we're gonna watch football and then we'll probably go get dinner here in a bit but we just need a little break but the views out of our window right now are amazing amazing look at that all right guys some bad news i needed the giants to win this game 
and we would have won $460. And I told Cass I would have bought her whatever she wanted from Lulu tomorrow. I'm, I'm literally so upset. If they won. I think we should still go. Sports betting's legal in New York, and it's not in Florida, so I bet responsibly, but I put down a crazy parlay, and every single game won except the Giants, and I would have cashed 460 So instead, it's instead zero. Instead, it's zero. But bet, re- no bet responsibly. Bet responsibly. <laughs> Monday morning, we had a nice dinner at Charlie's Bar and Kitchen last night. It was really tasty. Both had some fried chicken, hot sauce, honey. It was delicious. Woke up this morning, I went on a little early morning run, uh, getting ready for the half marathon in two weeks. So it was interesting. Saw a lot of New York, saw a lot of the Bronx, saw a lot of crap, but it was fun. And then we are in the financial district right now, taking the subway down the financial district, going to Ellis Island, Statue of Liberty, 9-11 Museum. If you can even hear what I'm saying. So loud. But yeah, we're just gonna walk around this whole district today and uh, we just got coffee. We just got some we're coffee. Ready for the day. Yeah, we're ready for day two. kind of crazy to see the history of that whole place we were able to find my great grandpa's uh, name on wall of honor so that was cool but yeah i'm really glad we went there because that was a very eye-opening experience for sure very humbling experience we did go over to uh, ground zero and try to go to the 9-11 museum um, but they were out of tickets today so i think we're gonna try to hit that tomorrow so instead we just took the ferry over here to staten island and we are going to just walk around go shopping and then probably grab some dinner all right we're at dinner and we got the baked ziti and a chicken panini and everything literally looks amazing here in New York City. Kind of sad, but we're happy to get home and see Maple. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been a fun trip. It's so pretty in the fall because the last time we were here was like in the winter, so it's so fun seeing it in the fall. But we just had breakfast here at the hotel and we're gonna go get some coffee and walk around. Food was good last night. I don't know if we updated that. Food was good. Pier 76. Style. Oh yeah, yeah. And then the ferry was really cool on the way back, like seeing the whole city lit up. It was a cool ferry impact, but yeah, last day. Last day, best day. Oh, and we, we can't go to the 9-11 Museum today because tickets are oh, sold out. Yeah. Or they, they don't open, they're not open on Tuesdays. They're not open apparently. on Tuesdays. So we might try to go before our flight tomorrow morning because that's one thing we did want to see. But yeah, so. yeah, we'll see what we get into today. around the 
the Upper West Side for a little bit. Got some coffee, got Levain Bakery. It was pretty good. Back at Central Park now. We're gonna walk through the park again and then over towards like Hudson Yards Shopping Center. And I think we'll pass like Times Square, Madison Square Garden, and a bunch of stuff. Take two and two and a half miles from here, so. Long walk. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> friends apartment we love friends we watch friends a lot so we had to come back here we went here in february we got to come back and we walked down the high line uh which was incredible if you come to new york you got to do the high line walk it was like a mile and a half walk to be real that was awesome and now we just came down here i think we're going to go check out taylor swift's house again old apartment because you know swifty over here i'm gonna grab a slice of pizza and then yeah i don't know it's getting uh, later in the day and we've uh we've done a lot walked a lot All right, we got our last meal with a view. It is a few days later. We were back home in Florida. Didn't really get to film anything after uh, the 9-11 museum just because we had to go straight to the airport and hopped on a plane and flew back to Florida. But just wanted to say that museum was an incredible experience. It's very hard to, to see some of those things and to, and to be there. It was a very eerie feeling. But at the same time, it was something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. I just felt like it was a really cool opportunity to be able to pay our respects to the people who tragically lost their lives. And I definitely recommend anyone going to New York for a trip. Make that one of your destinations. It's very tough. It's very hard to see some of those things, but they really do a great job of just showing the whole situation, showing what happened, and truly honoring the people who tragically lost their lives. So I would definitely recommend going. Just be prepared. It's I wouldn't try to do anything fun after that day because it is a very somber experience. Um, obviously, I was very young when it happened. Cass was even younger, so I I don't remember um, that whole thing unfolding. So being able to to see it, to be there, to be able to pay my respects, and just to really see everything that went on that day was was a very 
eye-opening experience to say the least. But yeah, that is it for the New York vlog. We had a great trip, super fun time. We packed a lot in in those three or four days. We saw a lot. So hopefully if anyone's planning a trip to New York here soon, we were able to give you some rec, show you what it's like. I definitely recommend visiting in the fall. That was an incredible experience to be able to see all the fall foliage. But that's it for this travel vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. We have a lot more trips coming up here at the end of this year and into next year. A lot of travel vlogs and of course our daily vlogs and Q&As and Sip with the Spinelli. So stay tuned, subscribe for more content and we'll see you later.